Hello, this time I will make a simple radar animation using material. To use texture for radar effect, enable engine content in settings, then create a material. To activate the opacity mask, set the blend mode to masked. First, create a text board node and a custom rotator node, and connect them to each other to create the rotation shape. Next, create a time node and create a multiply node. As shown in the video, the speed of time is set using the multiply node and the time node. Now connect the time nodes to the custom rotator node, and the UVs will start rotating. Next, set the UVs of the cross shape to rotate by using the subtract node to move 0.5 from the UVs. Then to form a gradient in the direction the radar rotates, flip only the green channel using the multiply node and the constant 2 vector node as shown in the video. A constant 2 vector node can be created by holding on keyboard 2 and clicking the left mouse button. Next, create a vector to radial value node that turns the plane shaped UV into a radial model and connect the nodes created so far to the UV pin. If you preview the vector to radial value node, you can see it rotates in the form of a radar shape. Looking at this node set, you can see that the first pin represents the R G channels and the bottom two pins represent the red and green channels from the bottom, as shown in the video. So to use the green channel that is rotating, Click the left mouse button while pressing A on the keyboard to create an add node and connect the pins as shown in the video. Next, click the left mouse button while pressing S on the keyboard to create a parameter node and connect it to the add node to adjust the brightness of the radar. Next, create two radial gradient exponential nodes to shape the radar. Connect the add node to the UV pin of one of the created nodes and use the constant node to set the radius and density of the radial. A constant node can be created by holding down keyboard 1 and clicking the left mouse button. If you preview the radial gradient exponential node, you can see the radar line spinning in the form of a gradient. As before, after connecting the constant nodes to the remaining radial gradient node, multiply them with the radial gradient nodes, and you will see a circular radar line spinning. Next, click the left mouse button while holding down L on the keyboard to create a lerp node and separate the colors of the radar. Next, while holding down 3 on the keyboard, click the left mouse button to create a constant 3 vector node and set the color of the radar. Also, you can adjust the brightness of the radar color using the multiply node and the parameter node. Now connect to the lerp node to color the radar. Next, create a time node and assign node to make the radar blink. Then add one with the add node to get rid of the negative value in the range of the sign node. Set the blink to the color of the radar using the multiply node. If the blinking seems fast, slightly increase the period value of the sign node. Finally, let's create a background texture. Click the left mouse button while pressing T on the keyboard to create a texture sample and set a grid texture in engine content. Using the vector to radial value node we used earlier, round the texture to make it a target shape texture. Then apply the radar color to the texture using the multiply node. Now add the texture and the radial to each other using the add node. To make the material circular, set the power node to zero and connect it with the radial gradient node, as shown in the video to create a mask. Then connect the power node to the opacity mask and set the result to be circular. Once done, create a plane in the level from the place actor. Set it to an appropriate size and apply the material to it. Thank you.